This is, to me, the most important final battle out of all of the final battles that Ring of Honor has had in this 20-year history. It marks the commencement of something that will hopefully catapult Ring of Honor into a new era. And it all culminates on December the 10th for Final Battle. Welcome everyone to Ring of Honor's Zero Hour for Final Battle 2022. Ian Riccoboni, Caprice Coleman, Caprice, we have eight huge matches coming your way for Final Battle on Zero Hour. We give you just a taste. We have four amazing bouts, and I cannot wait. The action here tonight, six title bouts, grudge matches, you name it, this card's got it. All the titles are on the line, and you get to see a pre-taste, if you will, to show people what Ring of Honor is all about, and I can't wait for the show to get started. We appreciate you joining us. It's Ian Riccoboni, Caprice Coleman. It is the 21st final battle, the biggest gate, the largest attendance. It's always bigger in Texas. We're here at UTA, University of Texas at Arlington, the moving Mavs, and we're we're so excited to kick things off here tonight. It's great to be here for Final Battle, and this is Final Battle. This may catapult us into a new era of Ring of Honor, and you get to witness it. We're going to have our first entrance right now for our first match here on Zero Hour. <laughs> Whoa! The chance is just for one ball with 20 minutes time on it. First, wrestling out of Guadalajara, Mexico, weighing 189 pounds, Mascara Furrada. I had a double take Caprice yeah. when this match was announced uh, for the Zero Hour last night on AEW Rampage. It blew my mind. This man's making his Ring of Honor debut, the King of Ropes, Mascara Zara. I thought you were talking about the, the, the shoulder pads that he had on that. <laughs> show, double take. I thought that was going to explode or something, but it's this mask that he's wearing. A tribute to Jushin Thunder Liger, Mascara Dorada competing here. Great star in CMLL. We've seen him quite a bit in New Japan Strong. But if you talk about New Japan. Oh, you talk about Strong. <laughs> you talk about Strong. <laughs> it's a tournament. Let's go to Hulu, Hawaii. Weighing 256 pounds. He's representing the United Empire, Jim Cobb. For those that may not know, Jeff Cobb has quite a history in Ring of Honor. Caprice, we were there in Las Vegas. One of the greatest television champions ever, and he won that television title on his debut. On his debut under the bright lights in Las Vegas, Nevada. Death before Dishonor weekend 2018. And what an encounter this is going to be. Absolutely. You know, he was never pinned for that title. Never pinned. Never got his rematch for that world television title. Hey, we'll see that bout later tonight. The TV title on the line. Samoa Joe elevating that title on a whirlwind schedule. He will defend that against Juice Robinson. That is in Final Battle proper. You're watching Zero Hour right now. And we're giving you a, a Final Battle quality match. I'm getting ready to say you got the king of the ropes in the ring and you got the Hawaiian Hulk. This is crazy. <laughs> Caprice, it's so good to be back here with you. It, it, it's it's like riding a bike. Yeah, and I'm so glad to see. You. I hope your family had a great Thanksgiving. Absolutely, we did, man. I'm great. I'm grateful to be back here as well and be a part of this new era. This is going to be an exciting contest. It's going to be the high flying you can expect out of Mascara. The body's called King of the Road for a reason. But if Cobb lets you fly, that's that strength in his play right there. The Cobb is like, you know what you can see? You can see the brick wall, buddy. There you saw the QR code. Of course, Ring of Honor presents Final Battle at a special start time today, 4 p.m. You can stream the pay-per-view live on Bleacher Report. We're internationally on Fight by Triller. Look at that rolling through. Off the ropes, and here's the king of ropes, Mascara Dorada. Yeah. I tell you, man, you look at Jeff Cobb. Jeff Cobb just moved like the scar, but look how he was able to catch him just like that. Dorada can fight, though. He's going to use those open hands, and here's where Dorada comes alive. Mexican wrist lock take over. He's just getting started. Two minutes in the match. And Dorada's already got him onto the floor. What a way to make your Ring of Honor debut here at Final Battle 2022. And a Dorada again caught. That's another catch. I mean, how many times can you do this? Whoa! Wow! And he still has him up in the air, Rick Abani. Oh! Front face on the apron. This is just another day in the office for the United Empire's Jeff Cobb. I was going to say, man, someone that's strong, man, he, he does exactly what he wants. And he's strong and he's fast. He's immovable. And going to work on the ribs and the hips. Caprice, walk us through what taking away the hips will do for a hot fly. He's taking away the hips. He's taking away the back. He's making, he's, he's neutralizing all these things that he's able to jump off the ropes. He's not going to be able to do it as fast now. He's going to have to think about it twice. 
Sending it back in. Of course, this is the first of four great bouts here on Zero Hour. At the top of the hour, we need you to join us. We need you to come along for the journey. Final battle starts 4 p.m. Eastern. You can order it. Bleacher Report internationally on Fight TV. That's the scary thing there. When Cobb stood him up and chopped him, he could not defend himself because he was holding his back. And Cobb is continuing to work on his back. He's going to neutralize it. Yeah, surfboard. Oh, and the, the man from Hawaii. Yeah. And the sign of the United Empire. That is the United Surfboard. Wow. He's taking his time there. And the great Hawaiian wrestlers like Don Morocco, Pat Tanaka. You know, he the also top. represented Guam in the Olympics. He did. He, of all, of everything. Is the man. Wow. And these open hands. Oh. And, and it just took one. For every three that yeah. Dorado lands. It floored him. Cover one, two. You're going to need to do a little bit more than that. Two, a much tighter cover there, only gets two. Well, that's where Cobb can mess up because he has his strength, he has his power. If you get too cocky with somebody like Dorada, and he has the the, the, the the ability to come back, the resilience that Dorada has, he can get upset here. You don't want to leave that door open with a high flyer. A man who can wrestle quite technically well. It can tie you up at any time. See, yeah. stuff like this. Just too much time. Loading too much it time. up. Yeah. And you, you called it, Caprice. Yeah, it's just too much time. Out of the way, drop toe hold. Sends Cobb into the corner. And it's Dorada now. Getting things going. Ducks the clothesline. Mascara Dorada. Yeah. There you go. Hurricane Rada sends Cobb to the ground. If he tries to dive on him this time, he better knock him out. If you come at the king, you best not miss. And this time. There you go. 5.46.30. How many was that? Counting as fast as you are, Rick, but I'm just gonna say you're right. Beautiful tornado over the top rope. And the advantage he had that time is he came in spinning. He didn't come on straight on like he came on the other times. Look at him. Yeah. Yeah. And that delay, that delay yep. was enough for Cobb's eyes to move on a different plane and for him to land it completely. And he was trying to catch him, but he couldn't. Too many spins in that axle. And the springboard, the king of ropes. Great sense on there. Cover. Two and just a two count there. I like those those sand times when you land flush with that back. You're not rolling through. You're landing everything on your opponent. Dorada Knocking the win out of Cobb. Continues a long line of great luchadors like Bandito, Ray Oris, Dragon Lee here in Ring of Honor. Out of the way. Coming back in, the boot. Second rope on the inside. Oh! oh. 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 The core of Jeff Cobb. Two and... Just a two there. Look at him. What? That's what I mean. Cover. Two. Two and a half for Jeff Cobb. I don't know, Rick, about it. If I was that strong, that fast, and that agile, I might be that cocky, too. Yeah. Well, I'm just good looking at cocky. I mean, he got all that stuff in cocky. Come on, man. Well, those are two things I'm not. As he delivered with a big moonsault. And he's setting him up here. He has Dorada in the crosshair. Uh-oh. Trying 40. Whoa. It's right here. Aloha does not mean goodbye. Tour the Islands countered. That's the good thing about Dorado right there, knowing he does his homework. He knows that Cobb was trying to put him away, and he was ready for that. Dorado charging in now. Out to the apron. Catches the right. Connects up the ladder. This late in the match, for Cobb to get kicked in the head and still be able to block the next punch coming on, that shows how resilient Cobb is. And right here, another strength on display. I believe he's going to suplex him from here. And, and ripping him from the bottom. If you've never seen Jeff Cobb before, he can deadlift so much weight. And now repositioning. Uh, great scouted counter from, again. Great, scouted again. Absolutely. He knew Cobb does that deadlift suplex. Intelligent move by Dorada. Yeah. He's still up there. Ooh. What the? King of the ropes. Bulldog. Sometimes I wonder. If we're going to be able to see the best out of everybody, hold on. Ooh. Ooh. Final battle of the premier event coming your way at the top of the hour. You can join us on pay-per-view. Bleacher Report if you're international. Fight TV. And that's what it's all about when you're here in a ring for final battle for Ring of Honor. You give it your best. Yeah, you, you wonder when you got this, these, some of these matches, they look like mismatches, but Barada's able to show you that no Cobb is in the ring. He's strong, he's fast, and he's agile. But I'm still the king of the ropes. Watch me. Up on top, Dorada. Nobody home on the moonsault. Able to catch his feet, rolls through. Cobb misses with the right. It's Dorada coming in strong. Clothesline catches Cobb, flush. But too Cobb! much time. 
He took too much time getting ready to take off for the next thing, standing too close to somebody, too strong. Wow, lands on his feet again. Great agility from Dorada. Pop up, caught. Is it? Aloha means goodbye. He's going to do it to Jeff Cowboy. The winner of this match, Jeff Cobb. What a way to kick things off here on Zero Hour. Former Ring of Honor World Television Champion, Jeff Cobb. And the debut from Mascara Dorada, nothing. Nothing to take away. Nothing to take away from yeah. Dorada. In fact, that says more for Jeff Cobb to me that he came in ready to fight, picking up the victory. Absolutely. Jeff Cobb is here with something to prove, man. With this new era of Ring of Honor coming off, this guy's awesome. Look at the replay here. Oh, Gord Buster on the apron and pops him up. Aloha means goodbye. Two, three. And Jeff Cobb. With the United Empire, he may not like it, but in Ring of Honor, the yep. Code of Honor, That's before it, and after man. the match. That's it. Jeff Cobb. It's all about the competition here with Bonnie. Your winner in our opening contest on ROH Zero Hour. Fans, we have six huge title matches here tonight. The one I'm looking forward to the most is for the World Six-Man Tag Team title. Let's take a look at what led to that match right now. If you know anything about the history of the embassy, the embassy is a cornerstone in Ring of Honor. And at final battle, when the embassy makes its grand return to help raise this company out of the ashes, the embassy with Brian Cage, Toa, and Khan of the Gates of Agony are going to be the new ROH six-man champion. Me and my boys have the six-man tag team championships. That says we are the best. But it also attracts some of the toughest challenges there is. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. I look at the embassy, and I see something exciting. I see a challenge. I see three men that are going to help me and my boys put on the performance that the audience crave. And me! I got the power of a peacock pumping through my veins. And we get in that ring, there's going to be an explosion. And the real winner that night is going to be the viewer. Because we are going to give them the greatest final battle ever. Six championships on the line here tonight. The world six-man titles. Dalton Castle and the boys defend against the embassy. Prince Nana has them primed and ready to go. Of course, the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship on the line, too, Caprice. That's right, Mercedes Martinez going against Athena. This is a match. These guys know each other, but they're meeting here on the stage, and Athena thinks she can dethrone the champion. We're going to see it live tonight. And let's take a look at what led to this huge Women's World title bout right now. This all started uh, in Toronto. Oh, wow, Athena answered with that. Wow, the crowd all over here. A lot of people forget the fact that I wrestled on the indies for 10 years before I got signed to the other place. You know, I just lost who I was there. I lost everything about myself trying to be the good guy that everyone expected me to be. And then it all changed in Toronto. This is a hockey oh fight. Oh my God! It, it was just something different. Like, it, it just, I don't know if it was cold air that night. I don't know if it was the people booing me out of the arena from the moment my music hit. It was just a different night don't for me. Don't mistake the smiles on Athena. She's a competitor. This is who I am. And for the first time in, I don't know, seven, eight years, I feel like Athena is finally getting to show the world who she is. If you look back at the history of women's wrestling and where Athena has been, I made Athena. She can tell you that. Heading into this Ring of Honor Women's World Championship bout, I think a lot of fans may not know that Athena and Mercedes have some long-standing history emanating from the Shimmer promotion. Shimmer was interesting. Back at Shimmer, no one knew who Athena was. For five long years, I've been trying to prove myself in the world of women's wrestling. I was the young kid coming in for an opportunity, and Mercedes was this established veteran that most of Walker feared for some reason. Mercedes Martinez and Athena have carried the flag of women's wrestling. I remember everyone was like, oh, Mercedes, she's the greatest. Mercedes, that's the person that you have to be to become someone in Shimmer. And so I took that challenge on. 
They've had many battles together, but never on a stage like Final Battle. They come into this bout very different wrestlers than they were when they competed at Shimmer. I do have a lot of respect for Mercedes. Well, I did. But Dana just decked Aubrey Edwards. I would never take away from her talent, from her determination, from her passion for this business. But the way she's going about things right now is the wrong way. Boy, it's Mercedes Martinez, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. She's been out with injury. She hasn't been to work in three months. But she is here, and she has seen enough out of Athena. Yeah, I've been gone for a little bit, but I've come back better. I've come back stronger. I've come back more determined and with more passion in my heart for this business than ever before. And a new Ring of Honor Women's World Champion crowned here tonight. Mercedes Martinez, your victor. Mercedes isn't Jody Threat with all due respect. Mercedes is a world champion, and Mercedes is a fighter. This title means everything to me. This title is a culmination of how hard I have worked in this business to put Ring of Honor Women's Division on the map. You're big, you're bad, and hell, you're probably the hardest hitter in this locker room. But that's not gonna stop me. You come with your aggression. You come with that fight. Bring that same energy that you have been bringing week after week and putting it on the girls. Bring that bitch mentality. This title is going to stay around my waist. Know that December 10th, it's not my final battle. It is going to be yours. To beat her for the Ring of Honor Women Championship would be superb. It would be the icing on the cake and definitely the push I need here at AEW. But to retire Mercedes Martinez, well, that's a sweet, sweet victory, ain't it? It all comes to a head for the Women's World Championship later today. But coming up next here on Zero Hour Tag Team Action, Daddy Magic and Cool Hand take on the Shinobi Shadow Squad. Caprice, this is a young man that we both believe is a blue chip athlete. This is Tag Team Match. It's set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Team number one at a combined weight of 371 pounds. Eli Isa and Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger leading the way in the mask of his trainer, Delirious. He won that mask in the very final match that was aired prior to the purchase of Ring of Honor by Tony Khan. It is a, a loving tribute. Cheeseburger, Eli Isom, two of the most popular stars in our audience. The but they have their hands appreciation the society, the epitome of sports entertainers. of what this pay-per-view is about. Like the JAS against the honor of Ring of Honor. You got your tag team guys coming down now. You got Matt Menard. You got Angelo Parker coming down. They don't care anything about honor. No, but you got Cheeseburger and Eli Ice in there that's saying everything for honor. And this is almost like if you catapult what can happen the rest of the night. They, they Burger, Eli Ice fought and clawed to keep Ring of Honor on the map. Yeah, we were in those empty arenas. Absolutely. We know the love that we felt at last year's final battle. We thought we were running off teams. We had one headlight when we were ready to drive that car. We, we didn't did. know what was going to happen next. And, and to see Burger and Isom here, it warms my heart. But to see Daddy Magic. Right. Well, I've gotten to know a little bit on Dark Elevation. I've seen that. And Angelo, there you see Daddy Magic and his partner, Angelo Parker, who, who wrestled in Ring of Honor before. Yeah, once or twice. Yes. They, they're calling themselves the Princes of Pape, as in pay-per-view. See, and, and they're already making a mockery. Daddy Magic asked me to call him a Ring of Honor legend. For what? Can you believe him? For what? Right. And we're going to start things off with Cool Hand Angelo Parker here. There you go. At, okay. All right. Code of Honor adhered to. Oh, it's a long shake. Let's yeah. see what happens here. Going for the bell here. Tag team action. We will see the Ring of Honor World Tag Team titles on the line later tonight. 
There you see the QR code. You can order right now at the top of the hour. Right now, it is free. We're on zero hour. You need to hit the buy button. Use that QR code. Wait a minute. And just that fast, man. Eli Eisen is the guy that the blue chip, he's beating so many guys. He's got wins over Christopher Daniels, Shane Taylor. He's coming out here, and that's how he does it. He surprises you. He's ready to pin you at all times. Oh, and that, and Daddy Magic, collar and elbow, yeah, that, I don't believe that handshake was sincere. Rolling through, and Eli Eisen, tag made. We saw a great match against Dante Martin. Tag made! It's the elusive Eisen to the world famous CB. Yeah. What? Uh-huh. I really hope we're in sync, because that'd be crazy. I was like, I'm all beat, but I got tuned, you know what I mean? Well, it, what fans who are new to Ring of Honor, we, we appreciate you joining us, giving us a shot here, final battle, the biggest event. Oh! Yeah. oh, oh, oh. Oh, feel too slow. Burger is one of the most popular stars in the history of Ring of Honor. He's Shake my damn head! Shake his head! Recently wrestled in Italy, Ireland, Shake it, you piece of garbage. Germany. You gotta be careful with that hand, though. That hand it has so much power in that palm strike. And... Oh! oh yeah. Let's talk about this for a you second. You thought? Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Punch him in the you face! That's not honorable. Yeah, I hope Parker knows who he's in the ring with, man, because Cheeseburger, he's, he's been a constant underdog, but he has that right hand that he hits you with the jaw with. It's over. Shote palm strike. There you go. Talk to him directly by Hall of Famer Jushin Thunder Liger. Burgers competed in the Tokyo Dome, Madison Square Garden. You just said he was handed a mask by his trainer, Delirious. Gifted to him. Right. Gifted to try and the palm strike by Jushin Thunder Liger. This is Cheeseburger. Irish whip, don't let his size fool you as Ooh. Parker and Menard going to work. Oh, backbreaker knee combination. Parker sends Isom down. It's cool hand. Ooh. So one knee was not enough. Lateral press gets two there. You know, this is how you win the matches, though. You have to stay on, keep the pressure on. I hate what he did, but he knocked his opponent off the tag, off the corner. He certainly did it, you know, for being honest. Burger introduced the shenanigans. Yeah. A little 10 count here. We know Matt Menard loved the 10 count. In the corner. He some hard punches, too, man. Those were, he wasn't looking around entertaining those punches. They were straight to the face. You, you talk about both these men from, from Montreal, Quebec area, the, the long history tag made uh, of the great wrestlers in Montreal. One of the great territories of the shows, Dino Bravo. Uh, even before that, I mean, these two guys are tough customers. Oh. Uh. Nice snap suplex. Cover. Two. You don't get me wrong. I like when any uh, tag team uh, gets a chance to display what they have. And, and if you look at them, they're kind of like a throwback tag team here with a stuff. They're like a garbage stomp. Yeah, that is a garbage stomp. Just unloading. Oh, oh. Big elbow delivers. Cool hand. Now working on that wrist, that's a smart move. That's the one move that can change the complexion of the match. Trying to get that wrist control. Definitely had it for the tag. Still holding on to it as Menard comes in, grabbing the chin lock, flipping over, dead center in the middle of the ring, staying in control, keeping him away from his partner. That's what you got to do to win these matches, and Cheeseburger already needs a tag in the Eli Eisen. We're getting dueling chance. Cheeseburger and Daddy Magic. Fans are torn here. Yeah, it's torn because it's a torn crowd. You got a lot of guys uh, that are Ring of Honor fans, and you got people that are viewing Ring of Honor for the first time. And so they're cheering for who they've seen. Jim Time! Ooh. Ooh. And the Jericho Appreciation Society could have a big night here tonight. This could be oh, the first goodness. of three victories as JAS, oh, just wiping yeah. disrespectful back elbow. Tell you what, if Cheeseburger ever gets that tag in Eli Eisen, man, he's gonna have something to pay for. But he's got to get Cheeseburger out of there fast because one thing that Cheeseburger cannot do—I don't care who you are, two on yeah. one yeah. is a dangerous situation. And recovering fast is not in, in Cheeseburger's book. And the smart move, Jericho Appreciation Society, isolated Burger. Isom's not even there, yeah. and the tackle catching Burger. There's no worse feeling than need a tag on your tag team partner's not even up on the apron. Yeah, it has him by the ankle tag made. Matt Menard in. And this could be a huge night for Jericho Appreciation Society. On the pay-per-view, the pure title on the line. Daniel Garcia defending against oh, Wheeler. There we Yuta. go. Oh, wait a minute. Burn there we the go. Who chip in? And Isom drop kick. Well, this guy is smooth as peanut butter and cold as ice at the same time. <laughs> Recently traveled to Mexico, spent extended weeks there to hone his oh. craft. 
doing whatever it takes to get the reps. See the way he moved Menard out of the way. He's like, get out of the way. Oh, look at that pop up neck breaker. And grabbing the wrist, Berger. Double stop. Wow. Thrust kick there, Chris Adams style, deep in the heart of Texas. Ooh, calling for the Shote. Shote is going to end it here. Oh, and Angelo, yeah. yeah. At least you can see Parker does his homework. Nice. Release on that suplex. And Daddy Magic here in control. Tag made. You know, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Magic his credit. He gave a release on that suplex to create the distance away from Cheeseburger. He's going for that double DDT. Oh, they certainly are. This That's could it. end it. Oh. Plants ice him. That's their finisher. Where's Cheeseburger at? Shoots the half. Crap. Got him. Well, the princes of hate, as they asked me to call them, ring of self-professed Ring of Honor legends, yeah. Caprice. There you see, cool hand, Angelo Parker. I really hope this is not a precursor to the rest of the man. Well, it nice. could be because they have two more matches for the Jericho Appreciation yeah. Society. As we're going to take a look at the replay here, we will see a great combination step up elbow getting that extra bit of leverage. Isom was just on fire, but they got him two and one. Double DDT plants him. Your winners, Parker and Menard. Fans, you see Daddy Magic. What was he saying? Well, we'll get to that later, Caprice. Okay. Huge night of action ahead of us, including a huge tag team bout that we will see tonight. Shane Taylor Promotions returns to Ring of Honor. Oh, man. They will take on Swerve and our glory. A lot of history between Shane Taylor and Keith Lee. We will certainly get to that in a minute. But for the Pure Championship, we will see Garcia defending his title against Yuta. Let's take a look at what led to that right now. He's defending the Ring of Honor Pure Championship on the biggest stage that he has faced to date. There will be more eyes, more Ring of Honor fans focused on what happens to the Pure Championship than ever before. I've learned that there's some people I can trust, there's some people I can't. Daniel Garcia is one of those people that I can't trust. So I'm gonna put an end to this chapter by winning my Pure Championship back. I'm just so sick of Wheeler Yuta. I'm sick of seeing his face. I'm sick of hearing his name. I'm sick of being tagged in tweets. I'm sick of all that. And I'm ready to put this final battle. It's gonna be a final battle for real. I'm really ready to put this to rest. There's a lot of pressure on Daniel Garcia, a lot that he puts on himself, a lot that Chris Jericho puts on him, but more importantly, a lot that the Ring of Honor fans will put on him. And I'm excited to see how he reacts in Texas. I'm gonna beat him at what he thinks his own game is, being a pure technical wrestler. He thinks because I'm a sports entertainer, I can't do that as good as him, but I proved that I can, and I'm gonna prove that I can do it again. At Final Battle, I will bring back my Ring of Honor Pure Championship to the Blackpool Combat Club. The event is called Final Battle, and this is going to be the final battle between me and Gila Yuta for hopefully a very long time. I'm going to put this to rest. I'm going to hurt him so bad in that ring that he's not going to want to think about stepping in a ring or a room with me for a very long time. I think I'm going to scar him, I'm going to hurt him, and I'm going to abuse him in the ring. Your championship match on the way coming up. The Ring of Honor Women's World Championship match. Mercedes Martinez defending against Athena. What a bout that is going to be. But coming up here on Zero Hour, a huge women's division contest, perhaps with championship contention aspirations. I can agree with that. This match is set for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. If you the first person of Washington, D.C., Trish Hadora. Former Pan-African champion Caprice, she was in the tournament to crown the Ring of Honor Women's Division World Champion last year, was a top contender for that title, and competed against Mercedes for that title earlier this year. One of the greatest female technical wrestlers in the world today, defended that Pan Am African title against men and women, mostly men, and held it for a long time. Served our country proud over seven years. Let's in the United States military. Come around my body with the body. I'm moving too. I can't have it. It's my pain. It's my pain. Let's get up Long Island, New York. Willow, make it again. It's electrifying. <laughs> it's on fire. She's contagious. She's Willow Nightingale. And the fans here are dancing. We are too. Up on their feet here 
at final battle. Sit down, Rick and Bonnie. <laughs> What's amazing, you saw Willow defeated Allison K back in death before the honor. Been a fixture on AEW television. She's been six and seven in bouts sanctioned by Ring of Honor in her career. However, she's won five straight on AEW. Yeah. So she's getting it done across the board. But you know, one thing about Willow, she's been fighting people and she's had a, a size advantage. She doesn't have that size advantage as much with Trisha Dora, someone that can go toe to toe with her and move for move for her as well. This is going to be a great type of match. Both of these women I love so much. And, and, and that's what you get in Ring of Honor. You get people that are, are fan favorites. There's the, there's the code right there, the QR code for buying the pay-per-view. But you get two women that are fan favorites and maybe people that the fans don't like, but this here for competition. That's right, a great scientific bout. Surely on the way, as you see the QR code, you can buy that now at the fans at the top of the hour. This feed's gonna go away. We're gonna need you to go to pay-per-view, Bleacher Report. If you're international, go to Fight TV as we see a great head scissor here with the push-ups because it's Jericho. Claudio Castagnoli, special start time, 4 p.m. We're going to see that Final battle that and more six huge title bouts a grudge match a feature bout eight huge bouts as Willow with a great head scissor for of her own Yeah, when you stand it up they had so much more pressure to the throat to the chin area and I think she was Ripping waving it back. I think she was waving at my wife Sarah who's watching. That's what she was waving at. Yeah, dude Willow is my wife Sarah's favorite wrestler shout out Mine to too. Sarah, Zach and my wife Melody. There you go. We love you. Look at that rolls over Ooh. And Willow two this is what I mean, man. This is the female wrestlers in Ring of Honor, they're here to wrestle. They grew up watching wrestling. They grew up loving wrestling. They grew up athletic. And rolling catch there, one. A great series of pin attempts here. Starts the clothesline. Did you know Trisha Dora played rugby? I did not know that. Yeah. No! Oh, and shoulder to shoulder. As soon as I said it. Yeah. I'm a prophet. <laughs> Call me now. And this is what you like to see in these in these technical bouts. Trish though going for the strike. Off the ropes. Shoulder to shoulder there. And we could be seeing the makings of, of who might declare themselves the next challenger. Yeah. But after that women's world title bout that was later between Athena the challenger, Mercedes the champion, and Willow downstairs. Cover. Two. Tell you what, to, to, to be, have that smooth smile and be so dangerous at the same time. It's like beating somebody with a smile on your face. That's Willow Nightingale. Reminds me of me and you at the commentary table. There you go. <laughs> and great hip attack from Willow. Yeah. Into the corner, second that Jericho, the world yeah. champion. Mm -mm. We'll see him face Claudio in the main event of Final Battle. Of course, we haven't even talked about the Briscoes. FTR, double dog collar, first time in Ring of Honor history. Ooh, for the tag team title. Y'all got to get this pay per view, man. You're getting this on the zero hour. Imagine what you're going to get on the pay per view. Yeah. What? It's more than like Superplex, too. And, and what I love right now, Caprice, I know you noticed it too. When both of these women hit a big offensive move, they go for the cover. Yeah. La Maestro, one. They're not wasting any time or movement. They're going for the win. And the thing about these moves are these moves can finish you. Anytime you hit somebody with a German suplex or, or Northern Lights suplex, you have to fight to get out of it after you've taken a massive amount of impact as well. Come on. And going for the cover here, hooks the leg. Two. What well, was interesting to note, and I don't believe we, we talked about it, these two women have teamed before in a Ring of Honor ring. Now, they're not regular tag team partners, right. but they won together as right. a team. Well, look at them, Rick Abani. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Hand, spring, cartwheel. Ducks the right. Mm. Ooh, it's security. And, and she may hit Trish's off switch there. She may have, but she has taken so much punishment. She doesn't have the energy to capitalize on what she did. All she was able to do was be able to create time. And as the match resets here, both women looking to claw back. Big opportunity, the 21st final battle. Ian Riccoboni, Caprice Coleman, here on the Zero Hour. Fans, if you have not yet ordered final battle, there is still time on Bleacher Report, traditional pay-per-view. She was looking for oh! All you got to do is click that QR code with your cell phone camera, and we will get you all set up for a night of six Ooh. championship bouts. Trisha Dora was looking for that Lariat Tubman, and Willow had to scout it. And look at these quick chops. Chess is on fire right yeah. now. Kobashi style in the corner. Charging in, hip attack. Every time she hits that hip attack, man, that's a move that takes the air out of you. And shotgun drop kick, planting Adora. Now going for the pin here. Cover. Two. You see, you see Adora grabbing that knee. 
I saw Adora grabbing that knee, yeah. and what I liked what Adora did, though, she made Willow use some extra energy to come to her. Adora didn't use the ropes, but got close enough where they were there if she needed it. That shotgun drop kick and knocked it from one side of the ring to the other, and she just took the rest of it to go. And maybe looking for the, the babe with power bomb. Trish blocking it. Yeah. Oh. And up, oh, Adora. That's that strength on display there. Turns her sideways, planting her down on the knee. She still has her up. But Willow may have had those legs locked. It's difficult to yeah, see. It's a stretch here. It's a submission. And, and Adora has turned yeah. it, turned the tables into a submission hold here. Willow might tap. There's nowhere to go. A great struggle, great clash between these two athletes. Weights lock here. Oh, bends in a bridge. Wow. Two. Just a two count. Did you see the way Adora's knees were bent back? These are athletes in here, man. They're giving it their all. And this is what you can expect to see at final battle. We're here in the zero hour. Ducks the right. Beautiful chop there. And you said it best. If yep. we're getting this right now for free, yeah. imagine what you will see at the top of the hour when we go to final battle, the 21st final battle. Mm. Off the rope. Hold on a second. Pass! Period. She hit that thing. And, and the straps are coming down. It's a game changer now, Riccoboni. And this might spell the end for Adora. Yes. Willow Nightingale plants her in the power. Oh, God, that was how on the Two. shoulder. Got her. Mm. Who did this match? Willow Nightingale. Willow Nightingale, who is challenged for the Ring of Honor World Championship at Supercard of Honor. For the interim version of that title, well, she put herself in the driver's seat to make the call for the winner tonight, I Absolutely. believe. Absolutely. If there was anybody that I could say is number one contender for the women's title, it would have to be Willow. Not taking anything away from Trish. Look at this replay right here. And the code of honor adhered to, that's what it's all yes. about. And fans, what a night of action we still have to come, including the bounce we are about to see here. Willow, your victor. We're going to kick things off on the pay-per-view with a huge debut. Shalistico, the brother of Roosh, makes his Ring of Honor debut, taking on Blake Christian and A.R. Fox in his Ring of Honor debut. And fans, the Ring of Honor World Television Championship is on the line. Samoa Joe, breakneck schedule, the undisputed king of television. He will go one-on-one -on -one with Juice Robinson, who challenges for that title. And fans, we are going to take a look at what has led to the World Television title bout right now here on Zero Out. I used to watch Samoa Joe when I was 15, 16 years old. Samoa Joe has elevated the Ring of Honor World Television Championship to the point where it's on par with the Ring of Honor World Championship. And, and that's very difficult to do considering Samoa Joe has a record-breaking reign with the Ring of Honor World Championship. For the last seven years, I've been in New Japan Pro Wrestling. But yet there's still people in America who call themselves wrestling fans who don't know who Juice Robinson is. Joe prides himself on being the undisputed king of television. For I am the one true king of television. All kings get to throw. I have been in the ring with some of the best AEW wrestlers in the history of the company. John Moxley, Cody, Kenny Omega. December 10th, we're gonna add your name to that list, Samoa Joe. And the thing about all three of those guys that I just named, I've beaten them all before. On December 10th, I'm gonna beat you, Samoa Joe. And I'm gonna walk out with the Ring of Honor World Television title. Six championships on the line here tonight, including the television title you saw and the Ring of Honor World Tag Team title. The first time ever, double dog collar. FTR defending against the Briscoe. Double dog collar match. Are you kidding me? The world title is on the line as our champion, Chris Jericho, goes against Claudio Castagnoli. The world championship has almost, I would think, would be desecrated. But I think Chris Jericho has taken this thing into a new level. And well, I hate to admit it. Well, we will see what has led to this bout here on Zero Hour. I've been tired lately. I'm tired of being looked at as the guy who doesn't win the big one. If I don't win a final battle, I deserve to be in the Chris Jericho Appreciation Society. 
I think Claudio Castagnoli is a tremendous pro wrestler, but I think he's a better sports entertainer. I think there's so much inside of him that we haven't even seen because he has done things a certain way. He hasn't had the guidance and the mentorship of a Chris Jericho. He hasn't been to the top of the mountain like I have. You don't get many opportunities at the Ring of Honor World Championship, and for Claudio, this may be his last shot, his final chance at final battle. As for Chris Jericho, it's like a party, and that party may come to an end if he loses the Ring of Honor World Championship here. I will put an end to your disgraceful reign for myself and every Ring of Honor fan out there. I'm tired of the Ring of Jericho. I'm tired of you disgracing the Ring of Honor World Championship, and I'm gonna walk out, final battle, and be the new Ring of Honor World Champion. You're in black and white, and when you join the Jericho Appreciation Society, you're gonna hit the land of Oz, man. The land of the JS and everything's in white technicolor. I can't wait to have you join us, Claudio. And what a championship bout that will be, but fans, coming up next, tag team action wraps us up here on Zero Hour. The Kingdom takes on top flight, and that match starts right now. Minnesota at a combined rate of 450 pounds. Dante and Darius Martin. Top fight. Dante leading the way. Darius right behind him. A great sensational tag team. You know, Caprice Darius, as you and I both know, was recently on the shelf. A debilitated yes. car accident. He's made his way back. Dante, who you see here, though, has one of the best singles wrestling yeah. records in AEW right now. Almost reaching up to number one contendership, getting the world title shot, showing that he is a top player in AEW. Great to see him here in Ring of Honor. Kingdom come. But also, it's great to see the kingdom. Be accompanied by Maria Canella Senate. Wrestling out of Boston, Massachusetts. At a combined weight of 449 pounds. Matt Tate and Mike Bennett, the Kingdom! Two times over Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, the Kingdom. Grand Slam Champion Matt Taven, led by the brains of the operation, Maria Canella Bennett, Mike Bennett. And what a bout we saw last year. The Kingdom defending the titles and maybe up until that point, the greatest tag team bout we've ever seen in Ring of Honor history. When you think about tag team, man, like you said, man, the Ring of Honor tag team champions multiple times and the IWGP tag team champions. Matt Taven, a Grand Slam champion. It's just, the Kingdom has it all. It was an emotional moment two years ago. I remember Mike Bennett returning around final battle time at the aid of Matt Taven. Matt Taven, though, let's... 14 hours ago, he was in Mexico City. He was yeah. in Arena Mexico. That's it. And competing with Hedge Cicero in a tag team tournament. He is worldwide right now. Whirlwind schedule. Competed for AEW on Wednesday. Flew to Mexico City. This is competing here. Absolutely insane schedule for one of the top wrestlers in the world. And a great test here for both teams. We talked about top flight, the Martins. I mean, you think about great teams who happen to be brothers. We're going to see one later. The world champs, the 12-time former world champs, the Briscoes, challenging FTR. We yeah. think about the Jack and Jerry Briscoe. Yeah, yeah. There's an unspoken language with brothers that they can communicate uh, on a level like that. But I think the thing the Kingdom has an advantage is the experience level. However, when I look at Top Flight, man, it reminds me of a me and Cedric Alexander going oh, against like, the world's greatest tag team. Wow. Right, and you guys were, as a young team, you were testing yourselves against yeah. the top of the top. The OGK, the Kingdom, they are the top of the top when it comes to Ring of Honor's Tag history. Precision. Absolutely. No wasted movement. As you see the tag being made, Maria is over here hassling us, and we're going to have enough of that, I assume. Mm. Second rope on the inside. Big double drop kick. I've had enough of that with Jericho. You've yeah. seen that. Hooks the leg, one. I'm going to take target off our back and look inside the ring. Absolutely. There you see Maria, who has led this team to on two occasions to the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship. Oh. Mike Bennett, for those who may not be aware, 
a really amazing transformation. Yeah. Found himself, found sobriety. Mm, turned it up to a whole new level. And he's going to need to get there against these Martins. So that quick tag, both sides. Ooh, and Taven takes out Dante. Oh. Wow, those long legs of Taven. That's what I'm talking about, man. Taven has eyes in the back of his head. Deceptively tall, 6'2", 6'3", inverted atomic drop from Darius. Darius hasn't missed a beat. Yeah. These guys come back in firing on all cylinders, man. That's a blessing, because a lot of times when you come back off the injury list, oh, and those long legs we talked about causing an issue. You wonder how you're going to be, but Darius has been phenomenal. Oh, wow. See the tag come in. Dante's inside. It was the old the okie doke there. That juggle was inside out so fast. Yeah. <laughs> nice snap suplex there. Action moving a mile a minute. My God. Top flight, who their first ring of honor bout was against FTR a couple of weeks ago, Black Friday edition of Rampage, challenge for the tag titles. Tell you what, Dante is so fast. <laughs> when Benny came in, Dante was like, come on, come on, I got you. <laughs> well, well, how do you plan for a team that ripped the, you know, is faithful to the Young Bucks playbook, but is is maybe two, three inches taller? Yeah, you wait, for them, you wait for them to make a mistake, and you capitalize on it. Two? Maybe two, three inches taller, maybe just a little bit younger, a little bit faster at yeah. this point. And I think you're right. I think maybe that cerebral, that experience, yeah. you got to you gotta make it find a mistake. No. They're, they're, they'll create a mistake. Matt, Matt Taven and, and, and Mike Bennett, they'll create mistakes. They'll create situations that Top Flight has never been in. Cover, nice tight cover. And that's when the, when the tie will change. Right. And you got to wonder, if, I mean, Top Flight, did they do their homework? Did they see that Taven has been literally all around the world in the last four days? The top flight is a team that coming in. Whoa! What's like that is so evasive. Sometimes when you're Whoa! young, oh my God, you take the gifts that you have and you Whoa! run with them, but then you run into somebody like the Kingdom and you realize you got to go to a playbook. Wow! Boston Bayonet after the kick of the King. But you're going to get hit in the mouth. And the Kingdom of Fighters, these guys are in the fabric of Ring of Honor. Matt Taven, of course, captured that Ring of Honor World Championship at Madison Square Garden at G1 Supercard. Is a man who can rise to the occasion. And if anybody can fight off, was it three matches in four days in three, two, three countries? That pack. Oh, they were looking for the, the Proton Pack. Nobody home there. Maybe Matt Taven is Dante trying to tag Darius. He does. Tag made. Top flight with the high cross oh, Goodness, he went over Bennett in that. Bennett's trapped in the corner. And using Taven, ever elusive, Darius on fire, kick to the face. Insecurity rattles Bennett. And it's top flight here. Elbow to the nape of the neck to the pituitary gland. He's got both, there's a distraction. And Maria is three against one right here. And that outfit sure is sparkly. Big back elbow. Up and yep. over, Oh, again that bayonet, that forearm. Taven, purple thunder bomb. That's the cutoff they needed right there. And they have reasserted themselves in yeah. the driver's seat here in this bout. That's a reset. They will cut Darius off. Well, that's why Marie's the X Factor, in my opinion. Absolutely. She was the third man in. It, it caused that distraction that they needed. Change directions there. And, and this is where Bennett can go to work. That body is built for function. He can drive those forms right through your jaw. <laughs> For the cover here, one. And bridging Bridge out. out. Wow. Great neck strength. The test of that neck that was yeah. injured in the car accident. Tag made. And of course, I think both teams have their eyes on the Ring of Honor World Tag Team titles. Absolutely. We're going to see that double dog collar later tonight. First time ever here in Ring of Honor. Fine buster from Bennett. Moon salt. And got it. Great combination. And anybody who had any questions about the conditioning of Taven following this breakneck schedule. Their questions have been answered. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes all you need is that opportunity, man. And the kingdom has been waiting and betting for this opportunity, and they've got it now. Talk about million milers. He might have hit a million just this week with the schedule he's on. Ooh, just the tip of the knee misses. Nobody home. And Ooh, Darius, jawbreaker. I have to admit, Darius and Dante move in ways that I don't even think about the way that they're able to obey their opponents. Double leg takedown, and that's it's, talks, this is old school, the new school here. Exactly. Get ready to say the same thing. It talks about the new class of professional wrestling. Oh! oh but great combination stacks them up to the kingdom. Come just shy of the victory. I'll tell you what, that shows that old school, new class. When the old school was able to learn about the new class, they're able to take the tricks and use it against them. And Bennett. 
Has him in position. He likes that pile driver. Darius able to get him over. Oh, catches the arm. Kamara here. The double wrist lock. And, and what a move. He is in trouble. He's in the center of the ring. Yeah, he's in the center of the ring and he's trapped. I wonder if Bennett gonna trap that right leg. That's the only reason why, why Darius was able to get out of that. Two. Nice bridge. This is the second time Darius used his neck. Uh, if there's any question of if that neck was okay, I think that right answer also in that bag down. These guys use every part of their bodies to do what they need to do. That's commendable. Ooh. Display a heart right here. He's breaking him down. Absolutely unloading. Oh! But a shot to the eye. Can't stunt anything. Spanish fly! And that could be the opening top play knee. Darius needs a tag. Bennett needs a tag. Whoever gets the tag in, you have to believe, has the advantage and can win the match. Whoever tags first. Crowd coming alive. The former Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions. Top flight. Tag made to Taven. And here comes Dante. Taven in first. Uh, allows him to evade Dante. But Dante already knew that was happening. I, wow. I can't even keep up with Dante. More. Look at how fast the legs are moving. The arms. Wow. Incredible use of Taven's own momentum. Whoa! That move. One, two! Woo. He floated! Yeah, he did. I think he ordered some food while he was up there. That guy was up there for a long time. Was it the shoes? It's gotta be the shoes. Gotta be. Hey, hey, this is another commercial. A tag man. Look at him again! Wow! The quick kicks. And puts him down! Complete shot on Taven. Hooks the leg! Two! It's a great thing about this team. Uh, top flight, man. They was looking for his opponent. That's what you're supposed to do. It's a veteran instinct. Whenever your opponent's making the pin to find out where their opponent tag team partner is. Dante was in position. Wow, look at this. Wow. Oh, goodness. Hooks the leg. Two and no. Bennett hey, driving Dante through Taven. Bennett was in the right place at the right time and did what he had to do. And Maria. Cheering on the kingdom, trying to get them back into this bout. You see her going wild here. And in the ring, Darius, Inseguri. Tag me. Bend it in. They got to, top point's got to be careful because if the king, if you let the kingdom unload like this yeah. this late in the match, it could be over very quickly. And the Spicoli driver. Not finished to tip of the knee. Yes, sir. From Matt David Saxon. Two, and the kingdom. Almost crossed the finish line. You know what? I'm looking at this and I'm wondering in my head, is there a possibility that the kingdom underestimated top flight just a little bit? Well, they are trying to put them away. That that shows to me that there is no oh, underestimation shit. to me. And, and he, he looked, oh, he looked for that pile driver a move. He's won plenty of matches yeah. with the Ring of Honor. He's trying to put him away. Oh, and he's trying to ground him. And, and he may have gone head to jaw. Yeah, he did. He did. He knocked Taven. Whoa! Flight of the Conqueror from Taven. Turn around, Taven! And Dante able to catch Taven with just enough. That's right. That's why they call him high risk moves. But Dante is still moving. Another distraction. And move. Yeah. Oh. And, and she was yelling at him when he was going to the outside, too. It's too much time away from Bennett. Oh, you got it. You can't put your hands on Posey, Maria. There you go. Hey, can't play with Mike Posey. Look at you. Look at you. And you, 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 you. I mean, she was yelling at Dante when he was setting up for the dive to the outside. That may have gotten in his head then, and she certainly got in his head now. Dante's back is still turned, though. Uh, that's not a good place to be. Taven and Bennett inside the ring. Here on Zero Hour, ducks the right. Oh, oh big super kick. Oh, they're calling for the Hail Mary. They're looking to end it here. Oh. Dante up. Double leg take that from Darius. Has him bridge. Finish true. Has the leg still hooked? What? Darius has him. 
And getting the space here. And... Are you what's allowed to do that? Incredible! Quail Man couldn't even believe it in the in the crowd there. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what I saw. I'm impressed with what I saw. Top Flight is definitely here to stay. I'm impressed. Top Flight get their first win in a Ring of Honor ring against the former two-time Ring of Honor tag champion. Mike Bennett, somebody better check on his jaw. Darius with the shot there. I believe that's what did it, man. It was that flight to the outside with Darius that knocked Mike Bennett out cold. It changed the complexion of the match. And Top Flight getting their name on the map here in Ring of Honor. Absolutely incredible about it. Tag team titles will be on the line of the pay-per-view. Let's take a look at what led to FTR and the Briscoe Double Dunk. Oh. Check, I guess the first thing that we got to do is say thank you to the ass boys. I have a card here. Y'all read our Christmas card on national television last night. I didn't think it was going to happen. I ain't either. Double dog collar match. Merry Christmas, bitch. The match has been made. Briscoes versus FTR part three. Last year, Final Battle, we met you guys face to face for the first time ever. How apropos is it that Final Battle 2022, we finished the history? In the nearly 10 years that I've been with Ring of Honor, the Briscoes have been the ultimate Ring of Honor tag team. But to have a team that went into the Briscoes' house and go nose to nose with the Briscoes and defeat them twice in two of the greatest Ring of Honor tag team matches anyone has ever seen says a lot about that team. No question who the best tag team in the world is right now. And after the 2022 they've had, I don't see any way that they're going to lead final battle without the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship. That's the all your boys is bad, but it's your bad like this. Double right. dog collar match. Right. You understand the implications of that? Dog collar, huh? Double dog, that's for animals. The crazy thing is we're the most rabid animals in the world, okay? We're going to have collars. We're going to have chains. We're going to be connected. It's going to be crazy and shit. FTR, Briscoes, you want to fight? We'll give you the damnedest fight you ever had. Top guys, out. The 21st final battle is on the way. The Ring of Honor World Tag Team title's on the line. FTR, the Briscoes. FTR defending in a double dog collar match. Going to be a heck of an encounter. It's going to be violent. Nowhere to run. The world six-man titles on the line. Dalton Castle and the Bull.